as you check the children. Show a little mess of time. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird, here to do a special unboxing. I'm really excited about this. Uh, this is something that came pretty unexpected to me. Uh, it was something I noticed was going on on Facebook um, because of one of, the, uh, one of the groups that I'm in. It was an auction that popped up, and I noticed it on a Thursday, and I saw it was going to end on a Saturday. And so I just watched it, and then I kind of swooped in at the last second, and ended up putting in the top bid and I am very excited that it's finally here now. I gotta be very ginger with it. All right, so it is secured in here crazy well. Thank goodness for that. Holy crap, I literally don't know how to get into this safely. <laughs> okay, so this isn't the actual thing. It's It was indeed secured in here. Wow, this is uh process okay so that's done so it's in here <laughs> okay there we go all right so that opens up okay cool so this is what I got and make sure so here we go this is what I got my hands on yes look at that oh man it smells like fresh paint so this if you guys didn't know is a replica of the exact painting that robert england was working on in west craven's new nightmare so this is the piece that he was kind of not really listening to heather when she called um, because he was working on finishing this piece meanwhile robert take care okay And then he disappears from the movie after finishing this piece. Uh, this is done in a really cool canvas style. So it's just attached here. I don't know if this is something I can or should frame or if I should just leave it as is, but it's gorgeous. Let me get a get it closer here so you guys can really get a good look at it. Um, so this was done, by the way, uh, by Keith, Keith Cadera is the name of the actual artist. Uh, he put it up for auction on the Freddy, um, Freddy Glove Ninja Clan group, I believe is where I got this. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a two day long auction and um, I don't know that I need to say what it eventually went for, but nonetheless, a very talented artist and I am very pleased, although I haven't even actually looked at it, I've just looked at the camera reproduction of it so I'm gonna go ahead and take a gander myself man that's awesome that looks so cool I uh, I don't know the original it says after LN so I'm sure the original artists initials were LN uh, but I don't know offhand what that uh, what that artist is but man this came out so cool and the fun thing is when I won it I said, hey, by the way, we're making a sequel to Dylan's New Nightmare, and it might be kind of cool to have this as a, you know, something as a behind-the-scenes sort of uh, fun bit, or maybe hide it somewhere on set for, for one of the parts of the, of the movie, and you know what I mean? I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if it ends up there, if it just stays on my wall, because I, I always wanted a, a, a reproduction of that painting I'm sure the painting itself is out of it out of my grasp but uh, but this is exactly something that uh, fills that need and I am super excited about it and after I said how excited I was for it and the reason I was excited for it Keith actually said well I'm gonna throw in a little something extra for you then and I said okay sure and it is secured on the back <laughs> of this um, so now this is not from the same movie, but this is from a Freddy movie. And what he did was he did a reproduction of this. I think I'll find a, a picture of it somewhere. Uh, this moment. 
in Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, he had fun one time and did this little reproduction of his daughter's drawing. Karen, uh, I think it's Karen Kruger. I know her name is Maggie in the in the in the main movie, but I can't remember what he actually called her her real name. But this is a really cool little reproduction. I actually kind of want to get this framed as well uh, because. I, I know Freddy's Dead isn't the best movie ever, but it's still part of the Freddy franchise. It's still got its camp factor, and I still like it for that reason. But I thought this was... He just decided to throw this in because I was such a big Freddy fan uh, and because I, I won the auction. So I was super excited to get this additionally. So that... I just wanted to share this unboxing with you guys because I was really excited about it. And uh, even, if the, even if this doesn't end up anywhere in uh, in the Dylan's New Nightmare series uh, it's it's definitely something I'm super excited to have so uh, definitely check out the artist again I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to his Facebook or his art page um, in the description box down below so you can check it out but again just take take a gander at this thing it's just amazing so yes Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the unboxing, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of these pieces and click that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet, if you want to see more cool stuff like this. Uh, again, just as a little update on Dylan's new nightmare, we are still waiting for this COVID stuff to clear up. You guys, we don't have the extra funding from our original, obviously our original campaign didn't cover the cost of PPE equipment. Uh, for when we actually film so and and we don't have the money to get tests for everyone and things like that so we're kind of just in a holding pattern we still have all the budget uh, we've spent some of the money on creating the effects behind the scenes as a matter of fact our freddy sculpt is uh is very very awesome i will not share it obviously because it is uh, spoilery but it looks amazing you guys i am super super happy with it so uh definitely uh, be excited and don't think that anyone is taking the money and running because that is not the case We're all just in a holding pattern and we just want to make sure that we are able to make the best Freddy film a uh, Freddy fan film that we possibly can so thank you guys very much again for watching I've been Cecil Laird and remember stay scared <laughs>